The best gaming mouse gives you full control over your games, whether you're playing a fast-paced FPS or a precise strategy game. It's important to get a mouse that matches your speed and gives you the accuracy you need. The best mice won't make it harder for you to play your favorite games, and if they're wireless, they'll always be charged and ready to go. In this video, we look at the 8 best gaming mice of 2022. We have the Razer Naga Pro. The Razer Naga Trinity has been our top recommendation for MMO and MOBA games for years, but the Razer Naga Pro is the new kid on the block. The Naga Pro ditches the cable for Razer Hyperspeed Wireless and Bluetooth connectivity. It also gets optical mouse switches and an over-the-top 20,000 dpi sensor. The overall design of the Naga Pro stays close to the Trinity, but has gotten a bit heavier to accommodate the new tech. The Naga Pro is 7mm wider and weighs 117 grams more than the Trinity, but its 100p feet make it easy to move across most surfaces. It takes some time to get used to the bigger mouse, which requires people with long hands to use a full palm grip. The contoured mouse buttons and ring finger rest make it easier to hold on to. The switches are also durable, with a lifespan of 70 million clicks. Of course, the Naga Pro has plenty of other buttons as well. The three swappable plates have two 6 and 12 buttons that you can remap to your heart's content. Razer's claim of a 150-hour battery life proves that it's true. Overall, other than the lack of a dock assign, I have no real complaints about the Naga Pro. The new Razer Naga Pro is fast, accurate, and can be used for many different types of games. The Logitech G Pro X Superlight Wireless has had to go through a lot of changes in order to meet its strict weight requirements. However, it has to do this in order to compete with other lightweight wireless mice and even some of the best wired lightweight mice. There are no removable thumb buttons, which have become a signature feature of the G Pro Wireless. Instead, there are two permanently attached thumb buttons on the left side. The standard battery life is a solid 70 hours, which is 10 hours more than the G Pro Wireless, even with RGB turned off. So battery life has actually gotten better between the two units. In practice, you'll probably have to plug in the Superlight at least once a week to make sure it's charged. The Logitech Superlight has a few other nice touches as well. For example, the underside of the mouse is made of a lighter material than the G Pro Wireless, but it's been slightly improved with a larger PTFE footprint. On a decent mouse mat, you'd be hard-pressed to tell the difference. Overall, saving 17 grams compared to the G Pro Wireless will cost you a little more for the lighter model. It will also cost you a handy DPI switch, interchangeable thumb switches, and some RGB lighting. But if you're a competitive person, that might be worth it. The Pron Wireless is made for people who use their right hand, especially claw and fingertip grippers. The whole mouse seems to slope gently to the right, so it fits comfortably in your palm. The body is made of a micro-textured ABS plastic with a matte finish that feels both smooth and grippy. At 80 grams, it's a little heavier than the Viper Ultimate, but it's hardly heavy. The Pron Wireless has a built-in rechargeable battery that's rated for 100 hours per charge, which is over a week of average use. For gaming, you'll want to keep it in performance mode, which will drain the battery much faster. All of this is part of the Quantum 2.0 Wireless, which is delivered through a slim USB-C dongle. SteelSeries includes a certain kind of adapter in the package. Quantum Wireless uses a unique dual-channel system that keeps the mouse connected even if one channel goes down. The Prime showed no latency at all, except when using the hyper-efficiency modes. In conclusion, the battery life is great, and every wireless peripheral should have quick charge for $139. The Prime Wireless is more expensive, but it is a good mouse that will serve you well. If the Logitech G203 LightSync looks familiar to you, you're not the only one. This mouse may be new, but it's almost exactly the same as the G203 Prodigy that came before it. The G203 LightSync is a wired mouse. If you want a wireless mouse instead, you should look for the live speed. LightSync means that this mouse works with the Logitech G app and RGB lighting system, which can make RGB lighting effects look the same on all compatible Logitech products. What's a little confusing is that non-LightSync products can also work with that app in different ways. 
the three lighting zones are all in the thin strip that runs along the back of the pawn rack. The logo on top is the same color as the middle RGB lighting zone. It would have been nice to be able to control the color of the logo separately, but this option does let you make beautiful tri-color gradients. These aren't removable or swappable to the opposite side, which is a surprising flaw in the Logitech G203's otherwise one-size-fits-all design. Still, it's a simple design in Logi. The G203's gaming-grade sensor has a DPI range of 200 to 8,000, which should be more than enough for all but the largest 4K monitors. If you have one of those, you might want to look for something bigger than the G203. The sensor is more than good enough for good, consistent gaming, and it gets a perfect score in tests. Maybe Logitech doesn't want to change the G200 and 3 too much because it's a budget gaming mouse. This gives it quiet confidence in what it's bringing to the cheaper end of its large mouse lineup. The change comes with the G203 LightSync, but there aren't enough of them for a good review, so we're not ready to move it out of our list of the best gaming mice just yet. The Razer Basilisk V2, which is the best gaming mouse with an optical sensor. Now, this mouse's optical sensor is amazing. It is called a Razer Focus Plus, and it can track with 99.6% accuracy. In terms of stats, it also has smart tracking, asymmetric QDOF, and motion sync. The mouse has an acceleration of 50G and a resolution of 2000 dpi. It weighs about 3.3 ounces. There are also 11 buttons that you can program, a drag-free cord that you can change the color of. This is a great accessory if you want an all-around great gaming mouse with a lot of features that will help you beat your opponents. Check out the Razer Basilisk V2 for sure. Next, we have the Corsair Knight Sword, which is the best adjustable weight gaming mouse. One of the most important things about gaming is having a well-balanced mouse. Many non-gaming mice are light and made of cheap plastic, but the Corsair Knight Sword is a great way to give your mouse heft and weight for better control and better ergonomic support. It has two sets of weights that can be mounted in six different ways, giving you up to 120 different ways to balance the mouse. It also has software that automatically finds the mouse's center of gravity so you can adjust the weight and balance to fit your preferred grip. It also has 18,000 DPI and 10 programmable buttons, as well as a Pixar optical sensor that can be changed. The Corsair Knight Sword is a very comfortable and easy to use mouse with a lot of extra features. If that sounds good to you, you should definitely check it out. The Razer Naga Trinity is the best gaming mouse with customizable buttons. It's like having a keyboard in your hands. The Naga Trinity has 19 programmable buttons and three interchangeable side plates that let you have 3, 7, or 12 buttons. It also has a 16,000 DPI sensor. It has a color profile that can be changed and weighs about 120 grams. This is a great option for people who play a lot of games with a lot of button combinations, like MMOs. You can put all your hockeys right on your mouse, so you don't have to move your other hand to get to them. Next, we'll talk about the best wireless gaming mouse, which is the Corsair Dark Core RGB Pro. On a single charge, you can use this mouse for up to 50 hours without having to charge it. It also has wireless charging, USB wired play, and eight buttons that can be programmed. It also has an optical sensor with 18,000 dpi. It has customizable RGB backlight and weighs 9.2 ounces, so if you want a funky option that can be wired, check this one out. It has a lot of cool color combinations and will look great on your RGB computer. Next, we have the best gaming mouse for sensitivity, which is the Logitech G502 Lightspeed. This is a very accurate mouse, so if you play fast-paced games like first-person shooters, this could be a great choice. It has a Hero 16 sensor and weighs between 4.02 and 4.59 ounces. It can move faster and weigh 40 grams. It has 11 programmable buttons and sensitivity settings from 116,000 dpi. It also runs on batteries and can last for 60 hours on a single charge. So if you need pinpoint accuracy in your games, you should check out the Logitech G502 Lightspeed Gaming Mouse.